Okay, today I have a short video. This is a survival mode. It's a new start. Uh, latest for, well, version 1.38. I uh, wanted to show that um, survival mode really isn't all that hard. And uh, did a 19 minute run through. And uh, there are parts of this I would do different again if I was facing this scenario because I've made a few mistakes actually on this. Um, you can see I'm on a cold planet. And as soon as the intro gets through spawning, we will we will get started. Now, survival mode, you start a distance away from your ship. And usually you will have some sort of uh, shelter like this. It just depends on what the uh, the luck of the draw is for uh, what kind of a area you spawn in at. So first step is to uh, get the multi-tool functional. Take a uh, do some situational awareness. Look around, see what you've got, and uh, work on the multi-tool. And I'm gathering some carbon here. A little bit of iron. Take what's uh, at hand. And look at that. There's my heridium right next door. So that means that something else is going to be hard. pop in here, grab what I need to out of here. I, you notice I didn't get the shield. Uh, we'll leave that for later, just in case. So we're going to see what we need. I fixed that. I put the rest of the carbon in the gun for fuel. The only part of this video I might speed up is uh, the times I'm in shelter waiting to recharge. Uh, other than that, I'm going to leave it run at full or at normal, normal speed. There's more heridium over there. And it's sort of, kind of, on the way to the ship. Make sure I skirt around that uh, plant that likes to whip you. There's some plutonium. And I'm already approaching 50% on my uh, thermal protection. Oh, there's some zinc. I haven't scanned yet because I haven't fixed that portion of the scanner. Is I try to make sure I keep uh, track of where I'm at in relation to the Heridium because that's going to be my shelter at least uh, that's the plan at this point of course I'm doing this voiceover uh, so I have already played it and edited the video or ran through the video um, Okay, so we're going to head over to the Heridium. And I am sprinting. I think what I'm going to do here, well I know what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use the gold as shelter while I harvest the Heridium. I'm going to position myself in between the two and drill me a hole. Okay, so now I'm in shelter, and I need to get a get a view of the heridium so I can mine it. There we go. 
So we will mine Heridium now. Make sure I've got room. Okay, there, I've sped it up a little bit. And you can see I'm mining and then I'm moving it to the uh, ship. Keeping the slots in the exosuit empty so that we can pick up resources on the way. So I've got quite a bit of heridium and I'm going to go ahead and head on out. I'm recharged as far as the, temp the uh, thermal protection goes. So we're going to make our way toward the ship. Got a reasonably rugged landscape here. Sometimes the landscape itself can be your uh, your hold up. And really there's not a lot of iron. I mean there's carbon and there's some iron in patches. So we're still making our way. There's some more uh, plutonium over that way. And I'm gonna probably bypass that. Still quite a ways from the ship. Headed that direction. And I need to be looking for some shelter here pretty quick. Something over there. Some more plutonium. We'll grab that. Never hurts to have a little carbon. Oh boy. It's a long way down. Geronimo. Wonders of a jetpack. Probably should have went ahead and got that uh, plutonium. But you can see my thermal protection's about out, so we need to find some shelter. And it looks like we got some caves, so we will we will chance going into the cave. Hope there aren't any crawlers in here. And that's what you call cutting it close. So while we're waiting to recharge, I'll grab some iron. See, I used a little plutonium there. That might not have been a good idea. Looks like plutonium is uh, plentiful enough, though. Okay, so our gun's fixed, finally. I normally fix the gun a little sooner. And it helps to push the right keys. Made a couple karate sheets, or one karate sheet anyway. Okay, so my pulse drive there is fixed. Still got to do the thrusters. Uh, 
at this point I'm about halfway through the video. Okay, so we're on the move. And again, the terrain is pretty rough. I'm headed in the general direction of the ship. Actually, um, I don't really even have to go all the way to the ship. I mean, that's an option. Okay, we're going to duck into this cave for a little bit. Maybe we'll get lucky and this thing will come out a little closer to the ship. Oh, there's some plutonium. And I'm using that to power the gun again. Which again is, is uh, sometimes that's okay and sometimes it's not. It just depends on your situation. That doesn't go anywhere, so that's a little time wasted. Other than I did pick up some plutonium in here, a little bit. So before we go back out, I'll go ahead and get some more iron. Since it's plentiful right here, and I'm in shelter, I might as well. And so far, about the only mistake I think I've made, of course this is in retrospect, because uh, I went through the video a couple times, um, I shouldn't have used plutonium. I should have gotten more carbon took in a route that got more carbon for the gun. Okay, so you can see I need a lot more iron. And uh, my two plutonium, I've powered the uh, thrusters, but I have very little plutonium left. Now i got to do the pulse engine. And once that pulse engine is powered up and up, I can actually call the ship to me. So your options are to go ahead and walk the remaining distance, uh, pick up more um, resources on your way, or uh, that's probably what I would have done, but I was trying to beat the clock here. It looks like there's plenty of uh, plenty of shelter areas and again it looks like the, uh, the plutonium it's not in huge uh, bunches but uh, it's quite, a, quite uh, it seems to be quite plentiful so I ended up calling the ship and uh, we'll get that going I'm going to take off, but the problem with doing it this way is I do not have enough plutonium now to get the ship off the ground. So guess what I got to do? I've got to go find some more plutonium. Uh, so again, uh, 
you've got to be aware of how many resources you've got when you're uh, you know, making these decisions. And that was probably kind of a bonehead decision I made there. Should have went ahead and made sure I had plutonium first. You know, and what level I had, and then worried about making the decision whether to. I still don't have enough. Making the decision to bring the ship to me or not. Because, like I said, there's looks to be plenty of uh, uh, shelter in these caves. So, it's, it's not like I really had to worry too much. Just uh, go from cave to cave pick up some more plutonium on the way and uh, if I got to the point where I had another two or three hundred plutonium um, then go ahead and call the ship but that was kind of a that was kind of a bonehead mistake there or a, well, not really a mistake but getting in a hurry not not being aware of uh, you know not being prepared uh, and really think that scenario out prior to pulling the trigger on it. So I'm going to have to spend a little time, uh, you know, the time I could have been walking to the ship to start with, uh, finding some more plutonium. So here's a cave. I need to go on and go ahead and jump in there and uh, maybe I'll find some plutonium in there. Oh, there's some. flashlight there's some plutonium over there cave came out on the other side. And we still need iron for the pulse. Pulse drive for the pulse engine. You know, I'm pushing it awful close because I'm down to 5% now on my gun. Okay, so we're full and we're full, but again, once I take off, I do not have enough plutonium now to refill my thrusters. It's going to use the whole 200 uh, when I take off. So at this point, uh, where you land again, you've got to be very particular about where you land again. And you sure don't want to go off into space without uh, plutonium and iron. Uh, iron uh, powers your shields and of course the plutonium you need plutonium or something for uh, for your thrusters. Um, I mean landing at the space station and all that's not that big a deal but uh, on planet here in survival mode you've got to be very very particular about where you land and why you land. You gotta have a good reason to land unless you have just a whole suit full of uh, plutonium. Because like I said, you're gonna use 200 every time you take off. Okay, I'm empty again. And right over the hill was a, a thing there. And then now uh, here, there's a drop pod. So I'm going to go ahead and land. Of course, I'm not going to be able to take back off again until I scour this whole area and uh, come up with enough plutonium. But uh, for the purpose of this video, I have, you know, done what I needed to do. I've got my ship off the ground, uh, and it really wasn't that hard. I mean, you just got to, you know, have a good situational awareness, kind of do a plan of attack. Uh, 
Um, and, uh, oh, there's some Thamium. Oh, you will get that. Again, I need to, before I can take off, I'm going to have to go around this area, collect a bunch of plutonium so I can get the ship off the ground again. We'll go over here and get the suit upgrade, and then we will be basically done for this video. So basically about 19 minutes, and I'll show you at the end here what the, uh, what the official um, count was. Go over here and jump in the ship. Yeah, see, I got a. Yeah, I have to get another 80 plutonium or so before I can take off. But that's it for this video. Um, we'll do an exit to select mode. And I'll show you the 19 minutes there at the bottom. So that's. Uh, you know, I'm not pulling your leg. And uh, I'll give a good shout out to Hello Games for a good game. And, and this is a, uh, as always, this is a hobby for me. Um, if you like it, uh, if you got something out of it, uh, let others know. Thank you for watching.